Hey everybody. Well, we're finally getting this project going. We had to order some parts and all the materials that we needed to do the project. One of the things we have to do first is to install these cross connectors. And what I'm doing with these basically, it's not something that probably needs to be done, but I want to beef up the connections of the purlin on the rafters of the greenhouse. So right up there, I just have a regular pipe clamp. And that was uh, per manufacturer's suggestion. And what I'm doing with these is I'm actually going to just install these over the top of them to actually give it some more support to be able to withstand the weight of the lights. I don't really want to hang another pipe from it. I just don't want to add that much weight to the greenhouse. So these go up really easy. Let me show you how this goes. So they actually just slide in like this. One. Oops, wrong way. And that's it. This will help support this purlin, and I should be able to just drop my thread all down to my super strut from here. So that'll be the next part after this. So what I've decided to do with hanging Nevis lights is I'm using something called super strut, and that's what that uh, gapped uh, line is on the bottom. And that's thread all going up to pipe hangers that I have connected to the greenhouse. As you can see, I beefed up the connections right there on the purlin and what I call the rafters of the greenhouse. And those will drop down right to that super strut. And my plan is I will be hanging the lights from that. That thread all is cut at 18 inches. And I just have a bolt right now at the bottom of the piece to kind of hold it in place. And then from there, we'll hang the lights from the bottom and that should give us about the right distance we need to the top of the canopy of the tomatoes.
So Doug was doing a really good job getting all the support system hung up for my uh, lights we're going to do here over the tomatoes. Then we get a call from our youngest daughter asking if we could come over and help her in her kitchen. She decided to rip up all the tile. So we went over there yesterday and spent the day with her. Everybody knows the story on these metal halo lights. Uh, we put them up thinking that it would be a good idea to use for growing and it turned out that the electric on these were just out of control so we really couldn't afford to run these lights to grow so Katie just uses them for harvesting. I think now that we're hanging these LED lights that we've got from Next Light we're going to take these down and I'm either going to convert them to LEDs and put them down to 110 or we might just use them in the high tunnel to use some harvesting. But yeah, we're going to take this all down. And then what I'm going to do is right here, this is where I'm going to come off my feed for my new LED lights. <laughs> 